Hello and welcome to our channel. Today I'm very happy to share with you two recipes. One recipe is for breakfast, but you can also make it for lunch or dinner if you prefer. And the second recipe is a very traditional here in Greece and it's lentil soup. I'm going to share with you my version of how I make it and I really hope you enjoy it and try it. So I'm starting by cutting the zucchinis. I have two medium zucchinis and one big carrot. And I will also add later half yellow pepper and half green pepper. Only because this is what I had in hand. You can choose whatever vegetable you like. I really like the combination of zucchini, peppers, carrot and red onion. I think it gives a wonderful uh, taste and yeah. Now as you can see I'm adding them to the pan. I have it in low to medium heat just enough to make them soft and I will leave them there for a while as you will see in this recipe. That's why I make them first and not the eggs first so I'll give them some time to cook. I will add a little bit of olive oil and then I will add the green and the yellow pepper that I had. Now you see me wrap the lemon and that is because this is how my mom taught me that it gives more juice out of it and I just put half lemon because I really like lemons. <laughs> now I have two eggs and I will add two tablespoons of bran in my eggs. Some salt and pepper to taste. And then you can choose either ginger ginger or turmeric. I use turmeric in this recipe. Both are very nice with eggs. I'm also adding paprika and some milk and I stir them. the eggs are ready and I'm gonna add them to the plate and half of the vegetables and the breakfast is served <laughs> it's very tasteful and I really hope you give it a try and let me know I'm gonna add the whole bag of lentils um, the reason why I do that it's because I'm gonna clean it and I'm gonna show you how later but also I like to make the whole bag because I can freeze the rest that we're not gonna eat and save it for another day as you can see my girls love to play with the lentils and I really like for them to be involved in the kitchen I try every time I cook to have them near me even just to add the salt and the pepper they get so excited and I really like it and sometimes they do even more and yeah we're making a mess <laughs> but you know it's part of the fun and part of how we all learn this process of cleaning the lentils is not very fun but it's fun for the kids and I think that makes it more fun for me too. Uh, the reason why I do this is how I learned from my grandma and my mother. Uh, they will always clean the lentil. And the truth is you can find sometimes, not always, little rocks or 
other types of beans or, you know, so that is why I like to do it. Now I pour some water in. We fill it until half or maybe a little less than half because and then we throw our lentil inside. Now you put them on the stove in the high heat until it comes to a boil. At the same time we're gonna boil some water. While the water is boiling, I'm gonna cut some green pepper that I had, a yellow and orange, but you can add a red too, or more green, a whole onion, three cloves of garlic, and three carrots. I'm also gonna add a very f soft tomato that I had. You just take the skin off and you add them in the food processor. You can add two if you have that are soft and you cannot use them for salad. And they add a very nice taste to the food. boiled you will throw the first water you'll drain the lentils you wash them a little bit and you will add them to the pot again with the warm water and you put it again in high heat so it will start to boil again and you will add the mixture of the vegetables that we cut in the food processor. When it comes to a boil, then you will have to lower your heat in medium. Now I'm going to show you what we're going to put inside is some pepper, some paprika. This sauce that I have very hard time to pronounce it salt, some tomato sauce, ketchup, which is optional. I really like to, to add ketchup in my food and some bay leaves. I have four and of course some olive oil. I will start by adding the pepper and you add one and a half teaspoon of paprika and the bay leaves and I stir them and I leave them for 15 minutes Then I decided I want to put more pepper so I did that and I added the tomato sauce the whole box and also the ketchup and the salt I added two teaspoons of salt after the 15 minutes, I'll add half a cup of olive oil. The Western sauce, I did one and a half, but you can add two. It gives great flavor. The soup is ready. One thing we add, I add at the end is some vinegar. So just take a little bit. Okay. No, Galini. Galini. Oh, no. 
Bravo. You stir it and then you try. 